case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit delved into a contract dispute in 1999 with J.D. Edwards and Company V. Padani. The central concept was clear. Consultants enjoying the consultant's privilege can freely offer advice without the threat of legal action. However, the privilege is void in the case of dishonesty or leveraging their guidance to inflict harm. In this specific case, a company engaged a consultant for advice on a software project. The advice resulted in the company ceasing payments for a particular software, influenced by the consultant's recommendation not to use it. The company retaliated with a lawsuit against the consultant and his previous employer, alleging that they had induced a contract breach and sought damages. Despite an attempted defense based on the security of the consultant's privilege, the court offered a contrary stance. The consultant's actions marked in bad faith, including tweaking the software selection process and acting to forward his own private interests, were not condoned by the court. The privilege was consequently denied to the defendants, and they were held accountable for their actions. On account of this bad faith, the verdict from the lower court judge was that the defendants had indeed breached contract. The plaintiff was therefore awarded damages. In an attempt to dislodge this outcome, the defendants appealed. Yet upon review, the higher court found no cause for wavering and affirmed the verdict. The consultant's private motives had affected his professional role and therefore negated his privilege. Lastly, this decision solidified the principle that the consultant's privilege cannot be defended when the actions reflect manipulation and self-benefit. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.